Hey guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. This day includes waking up in Tennessee, going to sleep in a tiny house in Georgia, lots of yummy food in between, and an unfortunate injury. The Family Fudge, the Family Fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. Good morning from Tennessee. Now on this particular day, we started our morning in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. On the day before this, we spent the entire day at Dollywood, which is a really awesome amusement park. Let us know in the comments down below if you've ever been. We had so much fun, but we were definitely feeling tired this morning. And we were also tired of the free hotel breakfasts. So instead, we went to the grocery store and we tried to pick up some healthier choices like yogurt and fruit and things like that. So for today's breakfast, we ended up getting some hard boiled eggs and lots of these yogurt parfait cups. It has vanilla yogurt and fruit and granola all in one. Some of these have mango and blueberries. Some of them have pineapple and banana. Each of the kids picked out their own. I also picked up some watermelon because that was what Lily requested. And Mackenzie requested some sweet potato straws, which aren't really a breakfast food. The kids each picked out an apple juice and mom and dad picked out some kombucha. Now if you've ever been to this area, you'll know there's a lot of activities and things to do. But what the kids really wanted to do was to visit Wonderworks, which is a very interesting place. The outside of the building looks like it's upside down. It's pretty cool. And inside, it's kind of like a cross between a museum and an amusement park. It's really fun. Afterwards, the kids did visit the gift shop and they picked out one special item to bring home. But unfortunately, somehow, Griffin ended up poking Jackson in the eye and it hurt him really bad. So Jackson was not a happy camper. He was ready to leave. After we left Wonderworks, Jackson was having a really hard time with his eye injury. So we ended up patching it up as best we could. And to cheer him up, we stopped for a special snack at Krispy Kreme. So everyone picked out a special donut and we headed out back to Georgia. Now you guys, this drive was beautiful. It was very windy, which I'm not a huge fan of, but the views were spectacular. So once we made it back into Georgia, we actually needed to pull over for about an hour for a YouTube conference call. We found a pretty quiet spot with some picnic tables, we were able to get out our computer and our phone and hop on our conference call. And while we were doing that, I did have some bribes for the kids to keep them busy and happy while mom and dad were on the computer. But what we didn't notice right away is that we had a creepy, crawly, hairy visitor to our conference call. Check out this worm, you guys. I have no idea what it's called, but it was really creepy. When we sat down at this table, we didn't even notice it at first. After our conference call, we had a couple more hours of driving to get to our hotel. So we ended up just grabbing some Little Caesars pizza for dinner and we just went to bed. We were so tired. Now the next morning, the first thing that we did was check on Jackson's eye. And thankfully, it looked a lot better. And are you going to poke brother again? No. No, never poke him again. Say sorry, brother. Sorry. Aww. Yeah. And now it's time to go to breakfast. Are you ready? Let's go see what they have. Now at this particular hotel, they had waffles and eggs, and bacon and cereal, pretty much all the standard breakfast items, which the kids were really excited about. After breakfast, we finally made it to our tiny house. This is actually an Airbnb rental. It's actually really cozy. We loved it. Let me give you the tour. Oh yes, and ignore all of our suitcases. So as you enter, you walk right into the kitchen and dining area. It's very rustic, but it has everything you need. I really love the beams on the ceiling. It looks like a cute little farmhouse slash dollhouse. So we have lots of antiques. There was some really pretty artwork on the wall and some hand-drawn art from kids, which I thought was really cute. We have a little burner here, microwave, there was a refrigerator. And then moving on this way, we have a little staircase to the second story with two more beds up there. Coming around the corner, 
There's also a sofa bed. So it's a little couch that can turn into a bed. We also had a TV with a Roku. We could watch YouTube while we were here. It was really cool. Oh yeah, and the ceilings were really low. You could just reach up and touch them. So in here we have the bathroom. There's only one bathroom in this place, but it's actually really nice. And then in this back room, we have extra storage space for our suitcases. And then back right here at the corner is a little teeny shower. This tiny house was very cute and charming. Now let me show you the upstairs. We have the girl side of the room. They have a bed and a dresser and some storage space. And then on this side, we have the boys area. This rental came with books and games for the kids. It was awesome. And the best part about this tiny house is that we were able to have friends over. Now you guys probably know exactly who I'm talking about. And if you don't, this is the Moss Family, and they're over at the channel Moss Family TV here on YouTube. Go ahead and check out their channel. I will link it down below. It is awesome, and we love these guys. We had so much fun visiting with them. We had ice cream and just talked the night away. We hope you enjoyed this day in the life video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.